name is Al Holton. I was a letter carrier with the Glenelg Postal Service. Carried mail from Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Ayers. Thomas Ayers, he has a son that's been in the news whose name is Bill Ayers. Can you recall the conversation? She came to the door. She started uh, enthusiastically talking to me, and she referred to him as a foreign student. A young man, black man, walking down the street uh, just after I had delivered the mail to uh, the heiress home. And he greeted me, and he was very polite. And immediately he entered into conversation with me and told me that he had come to uh, thank the heirs' uh, family personally for helping him with his education. I asked him, I said, well, now that you're out of uh, school, what are you, your plans? What are you going to do? And he said, and he looked right at me, he says, I'm going to be president of the United States. And there was kind of a little bit of a grin in his face when he said it. And I know how people will say things because they have an ambition or something, but it did not come across that way. It came across like this was something that's already been determined. What made you think it was the same person? Because he had come to thank them for helping uh, with his education, and that was the topic of the conversation that I had with Mary. I am absolutely positive that it was Barack Obama. Is it possible that releasing Barry's, or should we say Barack's records, would prove that he attended Occidental College and Columbia University as a foreign exchange student? Was young Barry told that foreign exchange students could receive scholarships and financial aid not available to Americans? Would release of those transcripts prove his foreign citizenship? And as a foreign citizen, he clearly is ineligible to remain in office show leadership on being transparent uh, with regard to documents, records. <laughs> uh, it is preposterous. Obama is the least transparent president in the history of this country. There's never been anything like it. Many, many people have questions and very serious questions. This fraud we have in the White House raised as a Muslim in Indonesia who we can't get his transcripts to Accidental College or Columbia, who we can't even talk to his childhood friends. I smell a rat to high heaven and I want the truth, damn it. If Barack Obama opens up and gives his college records and applications, I will give to a charity of his choice a check immediately for five million dollars. We have a right to know the truth. He's a president of the United States of America, damn it.